Hello and welcome to another episode of Smothered in Spices. I'm your host, the Bill Barouette. And next on the menu, we have collard greens with smoked herring fish. Okay, now traditionally this dish is made with bacon or ham or smoked turkey. But on this show, we like to do things a little bit different. So we're using smoked herring fish. Now let me point out, I would suggest that you use this brand of smoked herring. I got it from Trader Joe's. And the reason why I suggest this is because this is normally a salty fish, but if you get this, it's already desalted. And otherwise, you'd have to like boil it for like two hours um, to get the salt out, and nobody has time for that. So I suggest going to Trader Joe's and getting one of these. And also, FYI, Trader Joe's does not charge tax, so that's another uh, reason to go there. I'm all about saving money, okay? Um, one more thing I wanted to mention Usually when people make this dish, um, a lot of times they'll use um, chicken stock. And I did not use chicken stock. Instead, I opted to use um, three cups of water and one packet of Goya powdered chicken bouillon. And that pretty much gives the same results as um, chicken stock. But that's my version. Okay? So let me go ahead and tell you what the other ingredients are. We're going to use uh, one cap full of oil. We have two tablespoons of butter. Then there's half a cup of chopped onions. We also have three chopped garlic cloves. Okay. Then we have some crushed red pepper flakes. Um, this is the McCormick's brand. Then we have some black pepper, some Tabasco hot sauce, some seasoned salt, of course your, um, your smoked herring fish. And in here I have four cups of collard greens. All right. So here we go. All right, now I want to kind of, you know, show off a little bit and show you how you can do this recipe either using the crock pot or the stove top. You know, crock pot, stove that wrong, don't it? Mm -hmm. But um, for the crock pot, it's really simple. You're going to literally, all those ingredients I just listed, you're going to dump those all in your crock pot. And then you're going to set your timer for a minimum of two hours. But you can go as high as eight hours. And the reason why I'm giving you that range is because the crock pot, it, it pretty much knows how to cook your stuff and Two hours is what it takes, but if you're going, let's say if you're going to the movies or if you're going out shopping, you can kind of guesstimate how long that'll take you and then set your crock pot accordingly, okay? And a lot of crock pots, it, it's a minimum of four hours if you have the preset. I can set mine's, I'm using the Bella brand, I don't know if y'all can see it, and I can set it for anywhere up to 20 hours as, as, uh, as much as I want to set it. So if your crock pot has a minimum of four hours or, you know, the specific times, then just kind of set it, you know, four hours, six hours, whatever. Um, it'll work out fine, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you're going to do, your step one, you're going to chop your onions, okay? And then you're going to chop your garlic. As you can see, I've already done that, okay? Then you're going to mash your um, smoked herring fish, and I'll do a little demonstration. Okay, there's, it looks like there's two fillets in here. mash it up. Okay, mash it up real good. Go ahead and kind of get through that quick, quick, quick. This is kind of fun if you like doing things like this. <laughs> okay, got that all mashed up. Yes, yes. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and get your um, Get your pot ready. So you're going to add in the one cap full of oil. Okay. Then add in the two tablespoons of butter. your chopped garlic. Oh, and another thing, y'all, if you want to um, do it the quicker way, a lot of times, I couldn't find my grater today, but a lot of times I'll use a cheese grater and just grate the garlic. It's so much easier and quicker that way. I know they have garlic crushers, but the cheese grater is just so much cheaper. So um, that's what I use sometimes, just for a little shortcut. Okay? So you can then add your chopped onions. Then 
can go ahead and add in the um, the mashed up smoked herring fish. Okay, and I use the oil of the can from the can too that adds to the flavor. And this is really a really good um, recipe if you're cooking for anyone who does not eat pork. You know, this is a healthier option or, you know, you can still get that great flavor and still make something for them. So that's something to kind of think about. Okay. And then you're going to turn your stove to medium high heat. Okay. And that's about number five. Okay. And you're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back now. We're on step four. So we're going to go ahead and add the three cups of water. Okay. Then we're going to add five shakes of seasoned salt. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Then three shakes of black pepper. One, two, three. Three shakes of some Tabasco. One, two, three. All right. Then we have half a teaspoon of this crushed red pepper flakes. Okay. Now, honestly, when I do this myself, I use a whole teaspoon. But, you know, y'all might like a, less, a little less kick than me. So I said uh, for the recipe, half a teaspoon. Okay. Then you're going to top that off with your packet of chicken bouillon. And remember, you can substitute with uh, one chicken bouillon cube if you wanted to. Give that a little stir. All right. And next, you're going to rinse off your greens. I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and just add that in. Okay, and you're going to turn your stove down to about medium heat number three. Okay. Go ahead and add those greens. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll use this. Now give it a little toss, you know, get that juice all mixed in with the greens. version okay and now uh, this is the stove top version okay I just want y'all to get a little glimpse of that juice in there so let me kind of scoop it up for you okay you see that mm, you hear that okay all that yeah that's what you want okay all right so now let me give it a little taste here we go Just start with this. All right, get ready for it. Mm. Mm. Y'all already know it's good. I'm about to get my grub on. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.